Okay. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to, finally, <laughs> today's <laughs> Healy for Beginners and Beyond. And today is Thursday, October 28th, and this is our first ever Healy for Beginners and Beyond in the afternoon. So this is a big day, a big moment. Uh, we're, normally, we do this at 8 p.m. Eastern, but we're trying out this new 3 p.m. time slot. So thank you, all of you that joined us for the call today. Um, I'm Jake Barron, Head of Operations for the Americas, the host for the call today, and we also have Freddie Perez, one of our tech experts. We have um, Alexandria from our tech support team. She's helping out in the chat. Um, you can find her, the Healy tech support name. And I think Ken Close might be joining us later. I'm not 100% sure, but um, if not, we'll, we'll take good care of you today and make sure we cover as much as possible. So today's agenda, as you can see on the screen, uh, we're gonna start with a short unboxing of the Healy. Then we're gonna move into just a quick guide on where to find the apps and how to download them, as well as what information you need to connect to the apps for the first time. Then we're also going to go into a little bit more detail on Healy Academy. So this is, uh, it's a key resource, but it's a very underutilized resource that many people, if they, Maybe they went to it when they first joined. If you're new, I mean, of course, everything's fairly new there, but some people that may have visited a year ago. There's a lot of new resources. We wanna make sure everyone's aware of what is available in the Healy Academy. Uh, tons of great information. And then Freddie's also gonna show us how to access the support center and submit a support ticket. So of course, you know, we have this call. Uh, it's a great resource for, for everybody. We have the Tech Tip Tuesday call as well every Tuesday, that's a great resource. Uh, there's lots of videos available and, and tutorials in the Healy Academy, which we're gonna show you. Uh, there's lots of videos online as well, as far as my device help, our own FAQ page on our, our the Healy website. But if you've gone through all of that and there's an issue that you still can't resolve, uh, definitely we you know you wanna know how to submit a support ticket so you can get uh, assistance, especially when there's situations where you know, if maybe your device isn't working or um, you need a, a replacement or a transfer or account information, account update, something like that. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Let me just stop sharing my screen here. Okay. So with me right here, I have the Healy box. So this is the box that all the, the packaging that all Healy's come in. So this box itself comes in a typically a, just a brown shipping box with some paper packing material in there. And you know, the majority of everyone's orders, especially if you're new, is the Healy device. Um, you know, we've got majority of people are also ordering the coil with our first order as well, because it's it's such a great add-on and has become a key, a key part of the Healy product family. So you know, typically you'll have the Healy device, the Healy coil. Um, and then also in that box, be careful that you don't throw away the box and the packing materi material because every Healy device comes with a pair of the silicone and Velcro wristbands. So these aren't in the actual Healy, the Healy device box, but they're in the shipping box that the Healy comes in. So be on the lookout for those. Uh, don't throw those, <laughs> don't throw those away. And then also in the box, you'll find a packing slip. So this is just has your, you know, your order information on it. Uh, it uh, a good tip that uh, Ken Close gave us all a couple of weeks ago is that on the bottom of your Healy box, there's no printing at all. So, and this is actually a sticker. So you can just peel off the backing of the packing slip, put it on the bottom of your box, and then store this in a drawer or closet, whatever. You can keep all of your Healy accessories in there. Um, keep your wristbands in there. If you order extra cables or adhesive electrodes, which we're gonna show you here in a minute. It's a great spot to keep all that, all that stuff. So inside the box, this box comes shrink wrap. So I have the shrink wrap already off of this one, but key information on the box itself on the side, you'll notice there's a QR code and then the serial number, there's some manufacturing information. And then there's some additional certifications and sort of temperature guidelines and warnings and things like that on that side. and then. On the short side, there's a same thing, QR code, serial number um, there as well. So 
Again, take the shrink wrap right off there, open the box, and the first thing underneath there is the Healy Quick Start Guide. So this is a very sort of short manual, very quick to go through. Um, key information though, definitely take the you know one or two minutes to read through this before you start using your Healy. Underneath that, there is the longer instructions for use document. Again, this is a key resource as well. Definitely um, read through all this. You know, you don't necessarily need to read through it right away because there's a, a step in here where you need to charge your Healy for the first time and that typically takes a couple hours. So if you want to, you can just set this aside, uh, but while you get to the, the next steps here to charge your Healy for the first time. So underneath those two guides, you'll see the Healy device. It's sort of just inset into this little tray here. It just pops right out. And then you'll see the Healy has a, a little, the background is mainly blue when it comes from the, the factory. And this is just a protective film. So you see the one that I'm wearing and using right now, those background areas are white. So you can just peel this protective film right off. And then on the back, you'll notice there's a QR code again as well. And this is what you'll use to scan uh, the device when you set up your um, Healy, the Healy app, the Pink Dot app for the first time. The serial number is printed on there as well. And again, additional manufacturing information. You'll notice there's a clip pre-installed on the Healy. So this is, the majority of people use the clip, but other people, I know Freddie has a, his on a lanyard typically. Um, so there is a lanyard attachment actually in the box that we'll show you here in a minute. This clip is replaceable. So you can take, replace this clip with the lanyard attachment and then switch back and forth if you want to. It's fairly easy to do. And then on the other side of the Healy, there's two LED lights. There's a, a Bluetooth, a blue Bluetooth light. And then there's a green power light, which you'll notice will come on as soon as you plug the Healy in for the first time. And then in the middle, there's a power button. That's very simple, not much to you need to know about here on the front. And then underneath here, there's three ports. There is a charging port, which is a micro USB on one side. And then on the opposite side, you have the two connection cable ports. So those are, so I'm wearing mine right now, and you'll see I have the, the, I'm using the wristbands with the connection cables hooked up to the Healy device itself, hooked to the shirt. So those are all underneath here. So you take the tray off, and right underneath, you'll see here, we'll start with the charging cable, because that's what you want to do, because it takes the, long, it's the longest step. So go ahead, uh, take that cable out, and you'll notice that one end, this is a standard USB, plugs into pretty much any USB charging block. We definitely recommend using a wall charger, not your laptop or anything else. The wall chargers typically uh, will get this charged up um, the quickest. And then the other side, again, is the micro USB. You gotta be careful which direction this is plugged in because it's, it's longer or it's longer on the, on the bottom than the top. So, I've come to know that the, the there's two little like hooks or prongs on top of the, the micro USB. Those are always face up when you're when you're plugging it into the Healy. So this just goes right into the charging port and it makes a, a little like snapping or clicking noise once it's fully inserted. And then you just plug this other end into the, with the wall charger. The green light will come on and stay on for typically a couple hours the first time you need to charge it. So let us do its thing. The green light comes on. As soon as it's fully charged, that green light will go off and you know you're, you're ready to use your Healy for the first time. So, and again, if you, this is a standard micro USB charger. There's nothing proprietary about this charging cable for the Healy. So if you wanna get another one or if this one breaks or wears out, or you wanna get a longer charger because you need to for some reason, um, you can find these anywhere. Amazon, very inexpensive, uh, pretty much all stores as well. And underneath that, we have the two charging or two connection cables that I was just talking about. So you'll see these on one end, you got the part that plugs into the Healy device itself as shown here. Those are the, the two small round holes opposite the charging port. And on the other end, you have the, the snaps. So these, as I have on here, just snap to the wristbands that come in the box as well. So these, you want these to fit snug on your wrist, not too tight to where they're cutting off your circulation, but you want them to make good contact. And typically you wear this with the, 
with a snap part at the directly bottom of the wrist or on the top of the wrist. But you can go ahead and, you know, those snap on very easy, very secure. And if you're a lot of programs, you might be using the wristbands, but then others inside the box here, we also have two pairs of the adhesive electrodes. So a lot of our programs, specifically the, the pain or <clears throat> sorry, the pain or the stimulation programs, they call for you to use the adhesive electrodes. So very simple. Instead of putting the wristbands on, you would just snap these to the adhesive electrodes. And these are very sticky adhesive. Um, so they, they go in different parts of the body. So the, the wristbands are great for certain things, but they're not great if you have some sort of back, uh, back pain or anything like that that you're trying to treat. You can't put a, a wristband around, around your back or say on your leg or something like that. Uh, these are, are around, your, around your elbow or knee or anything like that. So this is perfect for those situations as well. And other than that, the only thing left inside the box is that little tiny uh, lanyard attachment that I mentioned. So it's just this top part here and you can Google uh, how to attach the, or swap out the Healy clip for the lanyard attachment. There's videos online, lots that show. They're just a small little metal spring at the very top here that holds this in place. And if you also have a small, like small screwdriver or eyeglass repair tool, something like that, you can easily swap this out, uh, put that lanyard attachment on. If you want to use the lanyard for one weekend and then swap back to the, uh, swap back to the clip later, very easy to do. So those are the, the key information really you need to know as far as the unboxing goes. Again, there's tons of resources available, um, not only on our Healy website, the Healy Academy, which we'll show you here later, uh, mydevicehelp.com, and then also healywelcome.com, YouTube, um, our Vimeo channel. There's, there's tons of resources. So the more information you, the more guides and manuals and everything that you look at in advance, the better your your Healy experience will be, and you'll you'll know how to um, sort of get around certain things that may come up kick, come, may come up during um, the use of the Healy. So, Freddie, you want to take us to the next step here and show us how do you get those Healy apps and um, how to connect to them for the first time? Absolutely, very good, excellent job there, Jake. Very good. All right, so as Jake mentioned, you know when you're uh, Initially, taking your Healy out of the box, you put on the charger, could take several hours. So there are some things that you can do in between that charging, getting that uh, knowledge, going to the different sites and whatnot. One of them is going to be to go into your respective app store and get your apps loaded up. So let me uh, uh, share screen. Give me one second. And what I'm going to be doing today, uh, folks, is I'm going to be using an iPhone 11, for example. So give me one second. Let me go ahead and get that started for us. Okay, very good. So again, this is an iPhone. And the first thing that you'll uh, wanna do is you'll wanna go into the app store. But before we do that, I wanted just to share one little quick tip. I would like to show you where you go into the settings of your phone. And in the settings of your phone, you wanna go and open up the general. And then at the top, you see where it says about? When you take it open the about, it's gonna let you know what software version. So this version of 15.0.1, this is the most current version. Regardless if it's an Apple or it's an Android, you wanna go and make sure that you have the most current software version on your smart device so that there is no potential interference when we're looking to run programs, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and leave here. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna go into the App Store. And you see there in the middle, uh, it's the letter A, it kinda looks like three popsicle sticks making the letter A. When you open up, you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen down here, there is a little magnifying glass. Below it, it says search. And so when you tap that search button, now we're gonna be able to go and search and you'll wanna type in Healy app. And so you see at the very top Healy app, tap that open. 
<clears throat> excuse me, and you're gonna look for the icon. See up there in that top left, little gray icon with that pink or magenta little circle. We call that the red dot, okay? And so I've had this loaded before. And if you know about Apple, then you'll see the little cloud, you know, right there on the left underneath where it says the Healy Health and Fitness. So all I have to do is tap that. Initially, you're gonna see where it says install. And you can very see it faintly, but it starts to circle. And then now that little circle is going around. When it completes, we're gonna see the open button, okay? Now that open button's there. The next thing you want to do, if your Healy is fully charged, right? You'll want to go ahead and just take one click and turn your Healy on. And that will give you the opportunity to see the green light flashing. Then you'll want to tap open, okay? Now here, there's going to be a couple of different things uh, asking you for your permission. So for notifications, just tap allow. And then we're going to come to a couple of disclaimers, notice. So we're gonna tap next. This is another disclaimer, the GTC, go ahead and tap next. <clears throat> Again, it's asking for the permission to use the Bluetooth. We're gonna tap okay. And now you see that the little circle is starting to turn. And when the app completes the opening process, we're gonna have the opportunity to scan the QR code. Now you can either scan it or you can take and type it in. You see in the middle, right underneath the back, the, the picture at the back of the Healy SNA, you can type it in there or scan. I prefer to scan, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap scan QR code, okay? And here again is asking the permission to use my camera, I'm gonna say okay. Now, all you have to do is move your camera over and it will pick up the SN number. See how it populated in there? Then we're gonna tap connect. Once it's confirmed the SN number, it's going to open up this page. This page is what uh, we call the demo page. It's going to open up this every time you either reset your Healy or brand new for the first time. What we're looking for is a little pop-up that's going to indicate that there's an update available. And there it is. This is the latest version, so we're going to go ahead and tap OK. Now what it's doing, it's confirming your addition with the actual programs. When that, that is with your addition. And once it's completed, you'll have this little update is successful. All we have to do is tap OK. Now you're going to see all the programs with your addition are all listed here. Okay, they're all listed here. One of the first things I want to do is I want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Down here where it says information. When you open this up, here's where you'll be able to identify the software version that you have, as well as under the hardware, you'll see serial number. Here's where you can confirm the serial number. This is very beneficial, especially if you have multiple Healy's. Wanna make sure you have the right one connected. And then below you can see there's some instructions for use, manual, website, and some other information there. Now, what I call the hamburger, which is up there in the top left, those three little horizontal. I'm gonna tap that. That's gonna take us back to the main menu page, okay? I'm gonna tap open the settings. In the settings, you wanna make sure that you have your proper language clicked. And then above where it says choose language, you see where it says check updates? From time to time, you may wanna come in and just tap that, right? Once, twice a month, just to make sure all of your programs are all up to date. Up at the very top, you see where it says turn off sound. When you're running a program and you leave the app, you can either turn on the sound or turn off. Where this says turn off sound and you tap it, it will actually turn on. So it's kind of the opposite. The same thing with the deactivate notifications. There's a little drop down screen. If you're out of the app that drops down, lets you know what hurts are running and where you're at in the program. Again, here you can go in and toggle either one of those, okay? I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna tap that hamburger bar again. And we're gonna open up the Gold Cycle page. You'll see here in the Gold Cycle, there are seven programs. And whenever you go to tap, I'm gonna go ahead and tap balance. 
it's now going to show you where the suggestions are. In this case, those little black dots there, that's an indication of where, if you're using your wristbands, it would go on, on either the palm down or the palm upside. And you'll see down below where it says start. When I tap start, it's gonna start the transmission of that frequency. So we can see the transmission bar. We see that white line going against that transmission. And when it completes, it's actually going to uh, take us to another page, okay? Now, if something was to happen and you needed to stop, you can see the stop button there. You can stop and then come back and start that transmission of that program again. Or maybe you wanted to try a different program. You tap the wrong one. No problem. Stop, go back and choose your right program. While we're here and waiting for this transmission to complete, I want you to notice up in the top right-hand corner, looks like a little fan or a Wi-Fi signal. That actually is a Bluetooth signal indicator, okay? And there's one dot and three bars. So you can see today I have one dot and two bars. As long as it's not bouncing up and down from zero to nothing, uh, it's a stable connection. So you're, you should be just fine. To the left of that, see the little battery? Inside the battery is a percentage. That percentage is the battery life that's available on your Healy. So you can notice there, mine says 81%. Now we're on that next page that I mentioned. Here it's going to tell you which program you're running, how many minutes, the duration of that program, and where it's starting in the hertz. You'll also see that little red dot. When that dot travels around, all the way around, that's like your timer, okay? Now you'll notice there is a black line behind the red dot. Well, that's because I don't have any wristbands, I don't have any electrodes. But when you're connected, that black line is going to turn white, okay? It's gonna turn white. When you move the bottom, right? See the circle at the bottom, it says 15%. Now you can toggle that from 15 all the way up to 100. And typically when you get right here at about 25, 35%, that black line is going to turn a white. You can also go backwards, right? You can reduce it. Some folks may have a little bit more sensitive skin. They may have to stay at that 10, 15%, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap inside that throbbing circle. And when I do that, what it does is it suspends the program, okay? If I tap it again, it just starts where it was at. I'm gonna tap it again because now you see the X on the left side. Well, if I tap that, it's gonna allow us to leave this program. I wanted to mention one thing because I saw a couple of questions about the coil. If you'll notice on the right-hand side, those three little circles kind of connected. If you see that symbol in any of the programs, you can run the coil with that particular program, okay? Keep that in mind when you have a coil. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the X. And when I do, you'll see now it's asking, do I really want to leave? The answer is yes or okay. I tap that. It takes us back to the Gold Cycle page. I always suggest that you take and tap that hamburger again and get back to the main menu page, okay? But once you're back in the main menu page, then you can close out the program. What I wanted to do here is I wanted just to uh, take just a little break. And uh, Jake, did you have anything that you wanted to add here before we move forward? No, I think that was a, that's a great, great first overview of how to access everything and get connected for the first time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit here about the Healy Academy, but also I think we'll just start with where to find some of the downloads in back office. Uh, before we pass it back to you for the support center tips. So okay. let me go ahead and I'll share my screen again. Okay. So can you see my back office screen here? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, there was a couple of questions earlier in the, the chat about where to find some of the, the downloads and on the individual programs or flyers or manuals and stuff like that. So there's a lot of information available. Just This is just the Healy back office. So if you're a member, you go to my.healy.world, 
um, you go ahead and log in here. Um, and this is where you will find all the, the downloads that are available. So anything from, you know, I see compensation plan, company presentation, uh, some of the promos that are currently going on. There's information on the, the, the animal module, uh, the individual flyers, power of three, watch. There's some of the, again, some of the manuals for the, the Healy app. Some of the call backgrounds you want to use on your, your Zoom calls, things like that are available here as well. So there's a lot of a lot of great resources here. A lot of this stuff has been added just in the last couple of weeks or so. So if you haven't checked this out recently, go ahead and do so. And actually, there was a, a question that came up on Tech Tip Tuesday this week. Um, somebody was asking, where can you find the name of the the programs, the 12 IMF programs for the animal kit. And because they're, they're actually not listed on the animal kit flyer itself. And they're not listed. If you go to the, the shop, the Healy shop and click on the animal kit, it doesn't specifically list those out. So in here, if you go to the, there's right here, it says manual Healy app and download that. I have it open over here, but inside of this, you will see, this has all the individual program names. So right here, this is page, I'm not sure what page it is, page 33, Healy Animal Programs, and lists all 12 program names here. So this manual is a great resource. The one that's actually built into the Healy Pink Dot app uh, isn't the most recent version. So if you're looking for the, the up-to-date one, definitely take a look at the manual that's listed in the back office because it's the it's the most current and has everything in here, including the animal kit, the coil, um, and all those other everything that's been added recently is available in here. So I think you know it's it's definitely a, a great resource, and many people don't realize that the stuff is here because if you've been with Healy for a while, what do you need the manual for? <laughs> but new new things have been added, so it's. It's always great to, to check those out. So um, back to the, the back office here. So here, again, there's the downloads. And then here, there's also a link to Academy, which, which is one of the sections I wanted to show you. You can get to the downloads from this part as well. Oh, oh it signed me out. Oh, man. <laughs> well, we'll go back. We'll go back in here. And so, yeah, if you go to the actual download section, the ones that are on your, your dashboard or your home screen when you log in, those are the ones by default that are for the country that you're registered in. But if you actually click on downloads, you can go over here and then you can pick all the countries, any country where Healy is operating in, you can go and select the documents that are available in that country, specifically for that country. So. Some of these things might not apply to you in the US, but say you're, you've got contacts in Germany and you want to be able to talk to them, if, if you know German, because these documents are in German, but uh, if you want to be able to send them stuff, the company presentation in German, you can download it and send it to them. So there's great resources here. Again, we're, we're in a ton of countries, but this is all very good information, tons of resources available here. So, other than the, the document center, as far as information you know for if you're new or onboarding or want additional information on the Healy product, Academy is a key link too. So you can get to Academy either from your back office through this link here. Just click on the hamburger, go to My Tools Academy, and then this page will just pop up and it'll take you to Healy Academy. Or you can just go straight to academy.healy.world. So you don't actually have to log in through back office. You can get there uh, as well if you want to save a, uh, a link on your computer or academy. But again, this is a great resource and there's new stuff that's been added just in the last week or so. so if you, again, same, same with back office. If you haven't checked out the download section recently, um, check that out. If you haven't checked out the academy recently, definitely check this out as well. So there's different sections here you see first steps and then these are most of the the videos that were available on the old video brochure that we had so 
same videos that you can find on healywelcome.com are also available here in the academy. So this is kind of like a, a one-stop place where you can go to get all this information. But again, we'll go, that's the first step section. All these videos are great. Now there's a different sections on all the apps. So you see at the top here, we have Healy app, Heal Advisor Analyze app, Heal Advisor app, Healy Watch app, and Heal Advisor Analyze Coach. So there's a lot of videos for each of these. Um, and it's all, it's all great information because we, we get so many questions that come up on these Tuesday and Thursday tech calls. And a lot of it is answered here. So if you haven't gone through here and watched each of these videos, they're very informative, um, easy to watch. And even if you've been with Healy for a while, you might pick up some things that you never knew or certain features or tips and things. So again, there's videos for each of the different sections. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a great resource that I, you know, we really, we really need to do a better job of, of getting people to this page and to these videos when they first join, uh, because it really helps enhance the overall experience they'll have with Healy. And then also, you know, some of the, again, Heal Advisor app, you got the Surge, Digital Nutrition, Biogenic Animal Module. There's videos and tips and tutorials in each of these. And then Healy Watch, same thing. And then these are the newest videos. We just launched the Heal Advisor Coach Module uh, just beginning of this month. And there's a lot of great videos that have been added. This is a very, very powerful tool. I've been using it every day uh, recently, and it's kind of scary how how accurate <laughs> uh, that it is. But it's a it's it's an amazing new module that we added, and these videos are great. You know, they, there's a lot of there's a lot of information in these the coaching module and the analysis. So it's important to know what it's telling you and how it's sort of going about that. So. Again, there's a, there's a lot of videos here. Definitely check all of these out. Uh, it'll really, really help you um, on your Healy journey. So, Freddie, I'll... You know, Jake, I'd just like to add to that is the best part about this is that it's available 24-7. Yeah. You don't have to wait for Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday calls. You come in here at your convenience. And like Jake said, it is just packed with some wonderful information. Yeah, yeah, easily, easily could spend a couple of days here <laughs> if you wanted to, just going through all the information. So, but yeah, it's definitely something to check out. Um, if you recently checked it out, check back every you know, once a month. Just a reminder, let's check out what's new here in the Healy Academy because we were, were continually updating it. So, uh, anything else to add on Academy, Freddie, or I'll pass it back to you. We can go over uh, how to get support if you can't get support through all these other areas. Yeah, no, I uh, I think you did a marvelous job there. Again, you know, folks, just take a minute. Uh, and again, that website, and, I, and I'm gonna share screen in just a second. Uh, okay, great. Um, and I'm gonna show you where that is. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna share my screen now. Okay, Jake, are we seeing my screen okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So uh, where Jake was at is in the back office, as we call it. And the URL is my.healy.world. And then when you go to that initially, it's going to open up this login page. Here, you need to type in your username and your password. Okay. Username and password will get you into the site that Jake was just in. And then what I'm going to do now is move over to the shop site. This URL is different. It is us.healy.shop, as you can see up here, us.healy.shop. Again, here, you're going to go to log in. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you all the additional information that's here, right? Here are uh, the different products that you can come in specifically. So if we just click on pain relief, for example, and we open this up, it's going to take us and give us some additional information, right? There's some little videos in here too, right? So this again has, is very, very powerful with additional information. The next one is the events. So when you scroll over, you'll see Healy World online events. And when you click here, 
So you don't have to try to remember and go searching. You could come right here. When you scroll down, it's going to give you, right? The next big event is uh, tomorrow, Frequency Friday. Here's the information, and you'll see it goes for each different country, right? Asia Pacific, here's for the U.S. And then we also have, you scroll down a little bit further, right? You see there's a lot of Frequency Fridays going on tomorrow. The update calls, right? Here you can link in if you're one of these countries, and you keep scrolling. Here's where we're at today. Healy for Beginners and Beyond, right? So again, here it gives you the information, the times, and right here where it says link to the meetings, right here is the link. The same thing applies for the uh, Tech Tip Tuesday that Jake mentioned earlier. Again, here's all the details for you, and right there's the link that you can get directly into the meeting, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about going, oh, I wanted to do this one too, the shop. So if you wanna look at additional addition, programs, add-ons, like the coil, the modules, all right here you can go directly in and go into one. So let's just do that real quick. Just click on the modules, just a little show you. When you scroll down here, it's gonna give you the examples. One thing I did wanna point out here, I want you to notice here on the Analyze Coach module, right? There's a price and you see it's an uh, exclusive tax but you don't see there's a monthly fee because it's not a subscription. When you scroll down a little bit further, the ones that are subscriptions, you'll see where it says month or month. That's how you know the difference between a subscription and a non-subscription module, okay? We're gonna come back up here. Now we're gonna go to support, or excuse me, now we're gonna go to login. So you're gonna now click login. So you can do all that stuff without even logging in. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna open up into the test account, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, and then once you have your credentials, now I want you to notice here, remember on the my.healy.world, uh, only your username gave you access. Here, you can choose between the username or your email, and then the same password, okay? And so we're gonna click login. And when we are in the back office, you'll notice over here, again, we have access to the that same little toolbar that you can come to. I want you to uh, make note here under my account, right? We're in the dashboard. Here's a, that you can go back into the back office, go over to that my.healy orders. Here's where you can come in and confirm the orders, your subscriptions. You can click here, the devices that are connected to your account. You'll be able to come right in here and come in and look at all this information. If you're wanting to use the activation uh, method here, that's where you do this. And then also the support center. You'll notice there's links for the FAQs here and other information, okay? Now, when we go and click on the support center, here's where you'll be able to submit a new case, as you see over here on this little teal button. We call them a ticket, case, they're synonymous. So what happens is when you click on this button, it's going to open up, and the first thing you're going to have to choose is a topic. You'll see the little downward arrow when you click on it. Now it gives you the choices. So if we were to click on products, for example, you'll notice to the right, the little subtopic pops up. Again, we have to choose. When you open this up, now you have the different topics. And if we were to choose Healy Hardware, for example, now you're going to see a couple of things that happen. First, the username will auto-populate -pop here. Unless you have a need, like a reaction happening using the wristbands, for example, leave that box unchecked. Here, if you have your asset, or excuse me, your Healy device is connected with your account, your number will populate here, or you can manually type it in. Down here, if you're needing or having an issue where you have to have an order number, you'd be able to see that here with this drop down, right? Or if you're having an issue finding it, you can put that in too as part of the troubleshooting. The next will be the subject here is where you'll come in and type in 
uh, whatever the issue might be. Let's just say dead battery, for example, right? You can put that in here. Healy won't charge, whatever the case may be. Then the description. So here's where you're going to type in your content. So you want to make sure that you address all the issues here. And also a tip, one issue per case. So if you have a watch, a coil, a Healy device, and there's something that you want to address with each one, do each one separately, right? And then you'll want to scroll down a little further. Want to make sure that you click the appropriate language. And this is an important key as well. So again, if you have an issue with your Healy device, maybe it's a clip that broke. You wanna make sure that you take a picture. Here, you'll be able to submit a JPEG, ping or a PDF. So you can take a picture of it with your phone, send it to your email, download it to your desktop, and then upload it right here by choosing file. Once all of that is done, just go back in, make sure you have everything addressed properly, everything is in place, and then click the submit button. Once you, once you have clicked the submit button, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back one screen. You'll see here underneath the support center, you'll see that you have been issued a case number. Okay. In this case, we had a battery issue. This issue was resolved. So it's closed. It's over three weeks ago. But here's what I want to show you. Click on the number. And what this does, it's going to open up that ticket number. Why is that important? Well, it's important because initially you're going to get a no reply email from tech addressing your issue. Tech needs to know that if they sent you some fixed suggestions or corrections, for whatever your issue is, that they work, they didn't work, what happened? Well, here's where you'll come in. And when you open this up, you'll, because this case is closed, it's not here, but you'll see that description box will be here. That's where you'll come in. You'll put in your information and it doesn't say reply. It's going to say comment. But with this ticket that's closed, you'll see the, the different information. You'll see here in this uh, blue background, it even tells us who the tech is that was helping, right? So here's the information that they sent back on the ticket. The information that you submitted is also going to be here, okay? And uh, I think that's all I wanted to share today with this. Did you have anything you wanted to add here before we leave the screen, Jake? Sorry there, I was muted for a second. No, that, yeah. that, that was great. You know, the, the support center is a, it's a key resource when it, when it comes to something that you, know, you can't resolve on your own. So it's important for everyone new. And that, that no reply is key. That, that happens more than you would think. Um, as far as people that have gotten submitted a ticket, they've gotten the reply. And again, you have to go back into the ticket through the support center to add a comment or reply again. If you reply to the no reply, it doesn't go anywhere. And that's, we, we have had people complain that they, they keep replying and no one's responding, but it, it didn't go into the ticket. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very easy thing to overlook because you just, you're, everyone's used to hitting reply to the email. So um, make sure if someone submitted a ticket and they haven't gotten a response that if you're, if you're working with somebody in your group or maybe someone that needed help, uh, make sure that they have actually gone into the ticket to um, add an update or a comment or something like that. And Jake, you know, I forgot I was going to add one more tip in there. When you're going in and you're replying uh, to um, you know, the tech, as I showed you that name of the tech, well, whoever the name is that's supporting you, when you're replying, start out by using the at sign and put their name in there. That way, when that ticket's opened up again, that tech will be able to see that ticket or be sent to him, then he'll be able to continue to help you with whatever your needs are. Yeah, for sure. And so we try we got we got about 13 more minutes left here. We've we've been very efficient today, Freddie. <laughs> yeah. But so I think one thing, you know, obviously there's there was a question here about the Healy app or Healy Watch app wasn't shown in the Google Play Store. Um, it looks like Alexandria already mentioned it, but it is in the Google Play Store. I'm looking at it right now. So 
Healy Watch is there along with HealAdvisor, HealAdvisor Analyze app, and the, just the Healy app, the Pink Dot app. So everything is there and available. Um, I guess a couple other things related to just connecting to the apps for the first time. You know, with the Healy app, you're, you don't need uh, any sort of ID or password or anything like that. You're just scanning the serial number and you're, you're good to go there. The Analyze app, you actually have to type in um, that email and the password. Same thing with the, with the Heal Advisor Analyze app and same thing with the Heal Advisor app. Um, and it's all one password, the same password for these apps that you use for your back office. So it's not like you have a multiple a separate password for Heal Advisor, one for Analyze, one for back office. Um, they're all linked together. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're if you're going to download the Heal Advisor app, the search app for the first time, if you're wondering what your password is, it's the same as the one for the Analyze app. So, Yeah, and the resources that we shared as well, both the uh, manual and in those videos, it's going to step you through that and it's going to show you where you're going to put your data in with which app, whether it's the uh, watch connector, it's the uh, search app, whichever one, it's going to help you with those instructions. Yeah. I saw early on when we first got started, there was a question about the uh, connection of the coil. So I'm going to attempt here. Let okay. me see if I can yeah. get this here. So this is the coil. You can see it's real thin, right? And the, the green, that green is where the coals live, right? The other side looks like when you connect them, it looks like you have a Healy that has a, a double front. Well, so what happens is, the two ports where you would connect your cables, okay, that's where this coil, and you just simply take and you slide them in gently, right? There it is. It slides in gently, and when it's connected, that's all that's going to happen, right? And now it's ready to go, okay? That's how simple it is. No special instructions, nothing to connect the coil there's not an app to connect it it just simply slides right in and then when you remove it again it just simply slides out <laughs> and sometimes it will drop out of your hand right <laughs> so but that's how easy that is yeah uh, that, that's that's great um coil is one of those products that has just really taken off in popularity it's it's become a huge part of the product family and you know, we, we do get a lot of questions related to the coil and we're, we're actually in the process of putting together some new FAQ specifically for the coil. Cause there's, there's not a, if you notice on our FAQ section, there's not one, there's one for the analyze app, watch app or the watch, the device, but there's not one for coil. So we're gonna, we're gonna add one there as well. Cause you know, anything from, how do you know it's working? Well, you know, typically most people's coils, when you plug them in, to the device that that line will turn the Freddie was talking about earlier will turn from black to white right away um, if not typically by 25 30 percent max it certainly does go to that amount as well but you know the, the coil is one of those things where you're not actually it's 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 a different application method than using wristbands or the adhesive electrodes so whereas there's a, a limit of you know two three four approximately microcurrents pro programs you're going to want to run per day. Uh, the coil is, is a bit different. It's more similar to the, to, I would say to the Analyze app where it's, you can, you can run that one a little bit more often. I, I run, I run all of them <laughs> all throughout the day. So I run, I run microcurrent programs. I run specific programs with coil. And I also uh, use the the analyze app to vibrate certain programs as well, especially now with the coaching module because it's I really do like that new feature. So, and just uh, for those that may be taking notes here for the first time, when you look at the pink dot uh, and you're using like Jake is, he has his wristbands on. That's generating microcurrent, okay? Whereas the resonance, <coughs> it's using the information field right to generate those currents. Okay. And then the coil uses the magnetic frequencies to generate. So yes, there are different frequencies with all the different uh, devices and applications. Yeah. So the, 
I, I was going to actually, because we have eight, seven, eight minutes left. I was going to, I was going to show the Heal Advisor app, the the search function, but I just realized I have a a a, a, a pre-launch version of the next version, so I, I can't really show that one yet. Um, uh, mine. So, Freddie, do you have yours well, connected still? Yeah. What well, What did you want to show again? Just the how to get to the search function, the Heal Advisor search. Okay, give me one second. If you have that one up there. there. Because, you know, the search, that's another one of our app modules that has just really taken off ever since late June, where we offered it for a one-time fee. You know, it used to be a monthly, part of a monthly subscription or a monthly bundle. And now you can, you can purchase it for a one-time fee and get it for life. And then also everybody knew that joined since July 7th and gets it for free as well. So we have a lot more people using the Heal Advisor search app and we have, so <laughs> therefore we have a lot more questions about the Heal Advisor search app. So that's one of those um, important programs that we're continually going to improve and, and, and make better. So, and you notice if you've, if you're already logged in to the, to the Heal Advisor search you know, you don't, you don't need to log back in every single time that you get it. And this is one of the few programs where you can't use the Heal, the Healy app, the Pink Dot app, at the same time that the Heal Advisor um, Analyze app is open. You can't have those two open at the same time, but the Heal Advisor search, um, you can have open at the same time as one of those others. But so you notice on Freddie's screen here, at the very top, you have the Heal Advisor search and it's it's very sort of, uh, it's it's not grayed out. Like you notice the ones underneath there, the animal and the bioenergetic, those are sort of faded out. Um, that means that he doesn't, in digital nutrition, he does not have a subscription to those. So on mine, I have a subscription to everything. So mine are in a little bit of a different order. My Heal Advisor search is at the bottom um, because everything is available. Um, if, depending on what you have, the one that will be available to you will be at the top on the screen here. So, yeah, on this and, on this Healy, I only have the advisor on this one. My other yeah, one, yeah, that's charging. No, but <laughs> that, that's fine. This is this is the one that most people have and most people have questions with. So, um, and then this is one of those sections where I think uh, maybe on next week's call we'll go into we'll do a little bit more in depth on the Heal Advisor search. But Freddie, if you want to show. While we're here, as far as some of the initial setup, you want to go to the settings and show where that configuration section is. So every Healy comes, it ships by default at the low current configuration. So that is because, again, as Freddie mentioned earlier, some people are more sensitive to microcurrents than others. So we don't want to ship out a Healy at high current, which is way too much for a lot of people. So uh, we ship it at the low current setting but we give you the ability to switch it to high current if you want to. So, and even if you don't have, well, everybody knew or already has Heal Advisor Search, but even if you don't have any subscriptions, anything, everybody has access to the Heal Advisor app to this section here, specifically uh, the settings where you can change the configuration. So you can go in here, oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, you can see my two devices. So. The uh, one on the bottom, you can see it's at the high, and the one on the top is at the low. And so the switch is real simple. I just tap the switch, and it's going to now give me a little disclaimer. And I have to also agree at the bottom by checking the little box, right? And then when I tap continue, right, now it's going to kind of give me a little video. And it's going to show me what do I need to do which is now going to be to go into the settings in the pink dot app and check for updates. So once I, I understand this, I just click tap yes. And then now it's going to go through a process and you can see they're processing. Please check back later. Well, you can check back later here, but you need to go into your pink dot app, check for updates. When you tap that, then when you come back in here, then you'll see it's moved from high to low or low to high. Yep. And that, that's the check for updates is a key thing here at Healy. You know, if you've, if you've purchased a new 
app module or program group or something, you know, there's there's a certain step. And always, if you're if you're if you open up your Healy and some program is missing or something happened, or always check for updates. See if see if there's something there. Um, you know, that's that's one of the. Freddie, would you agree? Is this a a basic step to always check before you panic and submit a support ticket? <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Yes. It's one of those little simple things that you can do because, you know, sometimes things happen. Uh, I'll give you an example. Yesterday for me, when we had this terrific storm, right, we had power outage by, I didn't have internet and it also affected my cell phone. So I immediately, when everything was stable, uh, when I opened my app, I went in there and I checked for updates just so if anything would have happened, now I know my programs are up to date. Plus as we're noticing here, it's a function that you need to do because it's part of the process to complete it. Otherwise, you know, again, we've had folks that come in and say, well, I did this, but it never showed up. Well, they never went in and checked for updates, so it didn't complete the process. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I really like this particular option here because it, it shows you exactly what to do after you, after you click switch. It tells you do this, wait an hour, check for updates, you're good to go. So. Uh, Freddie, do you want to maybe close? Maybe you can, as, as we're talking about just, you know, basic troubleshooting tips, like things to look out for if you're having issues as far as, you know, we can, you can do the, um, you know, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on and off, restart the phone, um, just kind of like that, this overall basic process, maybe to, yeah, to take sure. people through uh, if, if nothing else is working, try <clears throat> these particular steps. Yes. So, you know, different issues are going to happen. And that's why in the beginning, when I was uh, showing to go in and check your smart device, that no matter if it's an Apple or an Android, go in there and make sure you have the up-to-date software. Okay. So that would be the first thing to look at. Again, go in when you're opening up uh, into your pink dot, check for updates. Make sure if you have multiple Healy's that you go in and make sure that the one you're connected to that that SN number is the same one that you see in the information when you have the pink app. In the blue dot app, it's a little bit different. It doesn't say uh, check for updates, okay? In, in the blue dot app, you'd go into the settings, go into the cloud settings, scroll all the way down to the very bottom. It's gonna say there full synchronization. Just above that, it's going to let you know when the last time that synchronization took place. And then to the right of that, it's gonna uh, say changes waiting. If there's a zero there, then your programs are up to date. That full synchronization is like an up-to-date button. If there's a number there, whether it's one or 100, and believe me, we've had people with several hundred waiting. And all you have to do is tap that full synchronization. Now a tip before you would do that, you'll notice right above, there's three permissions. One is for, uh, the mobile, the second is going to be for the automatic, the third is the list. I suggest you turn off the automatic while you're running the full synchronization because it, uh, in some cases, it may cause just a little hesitation or an interruption in the completion of that full synchronization. That full synchronization, I'm going to stay in the blue app for a minute. Uh, when you open your app up, right, the blue app, you don't have to even have your Healy on. Like Jake was mentioning about the search app, you can get in there and do certain things without your Healy being on. Blue app is the same way. You can go in, go in to the cloud settings, go in and look at the training videos, look at the manuals, review all of that. But understand when you decide, hey, I wanna run a program in the residence, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to log in. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct email address and your password to go through those steps, okay? Uh, another one there in the blue is concerning the master key, but well, I'm gonna leave that for another day, okay? We'll leave that <laughs> one for another day. Um, yeah. But if, just on, on a general though, if you're having an issue logging in to the pink dot, for example, or it's not recognizing uh, your SN number, okay? Or it opens, but it it's not running properly. Some of the simple things that you can look at doing is a hard reset. 
that hard reset is simply depressing or holding down the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds. And you'll know when the green light comes on solid that now you can release it. It takes maybe one, two, three seconds, that green light goes out, that completes a hard reset. And if you'll recall when we were loading up the pink dot app and it asked for uh, the, the, the SN number via scanner typing it in, you're gonna go through that step. And it's also gonna open up in a demo mode. Okay, again, you'll have to wait for the update or check for updates in order to allow that process to complete and all the programs associated with your edition are reloading. Yep. Great, so we're, we're past the hour. It begins, it's amazing how quickly these, <laughs> these calls go uh, for us. But thank you everybody for, for joining us. I know there's a different, different time slot that we're, that we're trying out here. We wanna give some people you know, the Tuesday calls in the evening, Thursday one, we're trying in the afternoon to give different people the opportunity to join the actual live call. Uh, thank you, Freddie. Uh, thank you, Alexandria, for helping out in the chat. Uh, certainly appreciate appreciate your assistance. And everybody, you know, that this call, if you learned anything from this call, this call is beneficial, spread the word, you know, um, invite someone to next week's call, uh, let them know. Uh, maybe not everyone I'm sure is aware that this call has moved to 3 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. So please help us spread the word. Uh, if you haven't filled out the survey that gets uh, sent out after each of these calls, I, you can only do it once. So if you've already done it in the prior weeks, um, it won't let you. But if you're new to this call, please go ahead and fill out the survey that'll pop up as soon as we end this call. Um, appreciate everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us and have a great rest of the week and a great weekend. And we'll talk to you all next week on Tech Tip Tuesday. Let me stop the recording and unmute the line.